What's going on, y'all? This is T Money. I am back again today with another video. Okay, so I know y'all are annoyed with everything that's really going on right now. And as much as I was annoyed, but I feel so happy. I'm excited because things are actually going everybody's way. If you are a chiller, you know that a couple of things that came out this week on the episode, Yamaobani, especially about Saul Penduka leaving to uh, 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 Kai FM. Okay, everybody was wondering, okay, is this guy really a sellout as he was calling himself a sellout? And I was like, I don't think he's a sellout. So everybody was kind of mad that he's going to leave. He's a sellout. Twitter was talking ish, okay? This guy is unbothered as much as McG is. So let me break it down for you. A few days ago, there was an episode where they were talking about this position that was available at Akai FM where they were actually making a few assumptions about people who can actually take the spot on the show, on the breakfast show. And Dina Ranaka was suggested. A couple of names were actually thrown on that episode, okay? I don't want to play the video, but if you can actually go back and watch the Meg G's facial expression where they were talking about that, you could see that Meg G already knew that Saul was the one who was going to take that spot. And people at Kai FM... You know, it's it's a lot of things. I'm so happy because that it looks like the way he was explaining it, it's pretty much flexible. He will be able to do the episode. But here's the thing, though. He's not going to be able to trash talk the radio as much as he used to do in the past. We know that Saul is a very outspoken person. I don't think that's going to work for him. And this Kai FM job, I don't know if that's going to last because Saul is a fan believer. He talks his mind. He's very, you know, he got in trouble on the radio before, and I'm not going to go there. But, you know, he's fine. You know, he's fine. And I'm really, really happy that he's still staying. Uh, he's still going to be staying on a freaking episode. And I'm really excited that he's still going to be staying at the podcast and chill. Because, I mean, what would it be without Saul? I mean, it was still popping before him, but he came in the mix and everything is just tremendous. You know, perfect match. Ghost Lady will be off the air for a couple of days. Uh, I don't know, it's only a couple of months because she is going to have a baby. But they had this lady who came in yesterday. She did really good. She did really, really well yesterday. Um, and she had stories to tell. You know, it's the authenticity of the podcast. But I just wanted to say that I'm really excited that uh, Saul Penduka will still be there. It's clear, people, you had it from him yesterday that he's not going nowhere. He's still going to be on the show. So that's all relaxed. Okay. We're still going to have fun. Regardless of now, we think up on the CEO, we will still have fun. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, I just wanted to say that because I'm really, really a fan of these people and I look up to them in any way. So I would really get mad if he leaves the podcast and chill. But I just kind of like how McG handled the whole thing, you know, telling him that, listen, I'm not here to hold anybody. If you have your obligations, you are obliged to whatever you want to do. You can, you know, at some point, we found out the Melligan was actually shooting uh, for Robert Marawa, and they actually had to choose between him and Robert Marawa, but he was fine with that. He's like, you guys, you know that you can do whatever you want. You know, if I need you, I need you, but I'm not holding you guys back from whatever you want to do. And I felt like he handled it very well, even though he knew exactly what was going on way before everyone but I'm so happy. We are all happy. Everybody's happy. And Podcast and Chill is here to stay. The G is still around. Yes. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you're on support, you're more than welcome to like the video or share the video. Or you might as well subscribe. No need to subscribe, though. It's up to you. I don't like pushing people to subscribe because subscription, you earn it. It has to be organic. All right, guys. Um, thank you so much. Now I got to go. Peace out.